<coughs> I'm going to show you how to make a really cheap paint. Uh, this is fromage blanc, which you can get in France. It costs very little. It's about one euro for a for a half a litre. Um, I think in England, if fromage fray is just as good. Uh, if you can't use fromage fray and you're desperate, then you can get some milk and add a lemon to it. Wait for it to go off. But basically, this stuff, which you can eat, can I eat it? Yeah. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. <coughs> it's like sort of bunny Philadelphia cheese. So this is your basis of your paint. Now, this is an old house, old stone, um, and uh, inside, the walls are made of stone. And there's some old plaster work as well. And all, this stuff covers all that brilliantly, that kind of thing. Stone, brick, oops, sorry. <laughs> stone, brick, plaster work, anything like that, it will cover. But it won't forget using it on uh, new plasterboards, anything like that. Any modern construction material, just not worth it. Okay, this is an old lime paint. So anyway, all right, and now the paint here, I don't know what it's like in the UK, but the paint here costs about, uh, it's about 35 quid now for five litres of paint. So this is about, this is about two pounds. So that's, that's the difference. Um, and it's great stuff and it's natural. Okay, so here we are. We've got our fromage fray or fromage blanc and let's go and add some powdered lime to it. Come on. Okay, right in here, in here we've got a bag of, um, of natural lime. Okay, so what this is is lime that's been dried out, made into a powder. You can get this at any builder supplies. Okay, powdered lime. So here you go. Now, I've got in there 500 millilitres of uh, fromage blanc or fromage fray, and uh, I'm going to add six scoops. How many is that, Brent? Four? Actually, that doesn't. Let's go outside again and mix this up. It doesn't matter if it's not exact. Right, so there we have, come here. There we have the powdered lime and the uh, fromage blanc. Well, basically the milk that's gone off, okay? All right, mix that in. And now, I'm gonna get some water. Okay, I'm back with about a litre of water here. Just chuck it in. Now, if it's too, if you find that it's too runny, uh, you could always add some more, more lime. Okay, so what you've got now is this really lumpy mixture. Okay, now I can tell that there is too much, that's too runny. Okay, that's too runny. So I'm going to go and add some, come with me, let's go and add some more lime. And I'll there we are, add plenty more lime in there, all right? Just let's go where it's, stir that in. I mean, there's, I reckon there's, there's at least, well, there must be at least three or four litres of paint there. There must be three litres of paint there, at least. That's it. Okay, now, actually, there we go, sort of lumpy mix. Um, we want the lime now to break down, so we're going to leave that for half an hour, but we'll come back to that in half an hour. But uh, if we have a look at the finish, 
Um, it's hard to, no, no, I don't look. So if you look here, here's a sort of finish on it. Come on, actually, come through with me. It's pretty dark in here, you can't really see, but this is the finish with a little bit of yellow um, colouring. And you can put any type of colouring in you want. So you've got a white paint. It's a really nice cream off white paint. Uh, and in here, you can see you get this effect. Um, you can get that effect if you want. Uh, and here, look, oh, the whole house has been done in, uh, the whole house has been done with, with this paint. And it looks really nice, really nice. You get a really nice natural effect. It's a natural paint, there's no toxics in it. Uh, and anyway, so we'll go back and have a look at the paint in half an hour, okay? Okay, so it's half an hour later, since we mixed up our uh, six spoons of lime and half a litre of uh, fromage blanc. Um, as I said, in England, I think it's from our, from our phrase better. Uh, and what we've got now, can you see all the lumps have gone? And we've got a lovely, smooth paint. You don't want the paint to be any more liquid than this. This is quite liquidy, really. Uh, it can be thicker. Uh, and so, hang on a minute, let me get a brush. Okay, so okay, so there you go. And um, you'll find that putting this paint on is is not the same as putting on normal paint. The, there's the the, the 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 paint is very heavy with uh, with lime, so it have a tendency to drip a lot. You know, little beads of of, of paint are going down the wall. You have to keep working it and keep working it. You don't want to put too much on the brush. And you know, with normal paint, you can uh, you, f you can put on you know almost like a square meter before you uh, before you need to dip in again. Well, with this paint, you can't do that. You just a little bit of the time. Okay. So let's go and find a wall, and uh, we'll show you how I actually put it on. Come on. Right. Okay. So, is there any lights in here? Probably not. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, where should we find a wall? Let's just use this for now. All right. Okay, so okay, I'm going to repaint. So I'm going to repaint this area here. Um, ignore this. This is just terrible mould. You can't paint over this kind of mould. You have to get rid of the mould first. But just as an example, strange. So we'll use this bit of wall here. So you need to keep stirring the paint every few minutes. You know, keep. Because if you don't, then the molecules of lime will sink to the bottom and you'll end up with uh, um, a cake of uh, lime at the bottom and it will come out of its solution. You've got to keep the solution nice and uh, stable. So there you go, look. Look at that. that, that is a beautiful paint and that's cost about two euros, all right? You get a lovely creamy, look at this beautiful, you can see it here with the light. You've got a lovely sort of cream finish and it's perfect for old walls, in the garages, on brickwork, anything like that. Okay. So, okay. So if you're gonna do this, let's have a look, there you go. So I'm only gonna cover it a bit at a time. When you put it on, you will find that it almost looks like it isn't really going on that even. Could, um, but uh, when it dries, it will dry fairly even. Can you see, there seems to be different shades and thicknesses. Well, that's okay because it tends to dry, it tends to be quite forgiving when it dries. You don't need much. Put that on there like that, a nice square. There's no drip, see, there's no drips going through at the moment, but they will come. And when they do, you just go over them again. That's easy to put on. So you will cover this bit here just to show you what a brilliant cover it is. There you go. There we are. It's a beautiful cream paint. Costs virtually nothing. Basically it's like an old lime wash. Give that a little stir again. Keep going. Um, it takes about it takes about three days to dry properly. It is a bit of a funny smell at the beginning, but it's not a toxic smell. Um, and uh, good luck if you want to do it.
Oh, oh.